Hi, I'm Jaren with Awesome Kayak. Today we're going to cover a couple of things about installations for fish finders on kayaks. Uh, right now, out on the market, there's quite a few options you can go with. Uh, here at ACK, we've got a few. We've got the Elite 4 from Lowrance, as well as the X4 Pro. And from Hummingbird, we've got the 386CI. We have some other models as well, so you might want to check on ACK.com and uh, shop around for a little bit and see what we got another one on there that you may want to order. But for today, we're going to do a simple installation on the X4 Pro. Uh, so the first thing that you want to do is you really want to figure out where on the boat you want this piece to go. Uh, I personally recommend you want it up in front of you, generally within arm's reach, but you don't want it off on the side where it's going to be in your paddle stroke. Uh, the next place you want to, or the next thing you want to do is you want to look inside the boat, find a good flat surface, usually on the bottom of the boat, where you're going to mount your transducer. Uh, it's imperative to find a flat surface. If you don't, uh, you can usually get a little farther back in the boat and you'll find a flatter area. But most kayaks will have it right in the front fourth of the boat. And uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do after all you find out where you want those locations to be is to start the process. I usually start off with the transducer part. So what you do is get you a piece of sandpaper, doesn't matter the grit. And you go inside, you're going to rough up the actual inside of the kayak. And then what you want to do is you want to clean the area of any debris. Get the loose stuff off so that way your transducer pad sticks solidly to the bottom of the boat. Next what you want to do is take your install pad and your marine goop. Puncture the top of the tube to get it ready to go. And you want to apply a thin layer to the bottom of the install pad. Just a thin bead's going to work. You don't have to get really crazy with it. Just make a nice little rim around your install pad, like so. And then it's also imperative that whenever you put the install pad in the kayak that you get it lined up the direction that the transducer is going to run. So you just reach in, find your textured surface, apply the install pad, apply some pressure, and then you want to give it time to let it dry. If you go any further, you're going to knock the transducer pad out of the way. It's never going to stick and it just messes everything up. So we'll come back in a little bit whenever this is dry and we'll finish the installation. All right. Now that the transducer pad's been glued in and it's been uh, given the time to dry, next part what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to glue the actual transducer itself into the bottom of the boat. What we need to do is we need to take the actual goop you're going to take it, you're going to put the nozzle of the goop tube against the kayak so that way whenever you squeeze it helps eliminate a lot of the bubbles. You can also use a toothpick or maybe a popsicle stick to smooth the goop around and get the excess air bubbles out because you do not want those in there because it will cause interference with your transducer's reading. Once you've applied the goop and the transducer has been in, uh, glued to the bottom of the boat, you want to give it time to set, probably a couple of hours and keep it well ventilated so it'll dry uh, evenly. All right, now that everything has been dried in place, we can go ahead and uh, start mounting our actual fish finder head unit to the boat. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is take the base that your fish finder is gonna mount to and remove the bottom portion just to give it, just to make it easier for yourself. Pick a spot on your boat that's usually flat you don't want any uh, curved surfaces, so that way it has the maximum amount of contact with the boat and the strongest connection. For here, there's a nice little flat spot provided right here in the middle of a, looks like a compass or a cup holder. And you're gonna go ahead and drill your pilot hole. Once you drill your pilot hole, go ahead and grab your mounting screw. and run it into the boat. Go ahead and drill your other hole. And now with your other screw. Once you've got your screws through, 
I always use a washer on the back side to give a lot more uh, resistance on the back, create more tension, kind of sandwiches the plastic, just makes for a much stronger connection. Get your wrench, hold the nut in place, and tighten up everything. So once we have that in place, we can go ahead and attach the fish finder head unit to the top mounting part. Remove your fish finder's original base if had if it has it. And it's always imperative that you get a mount that mounts up to the type of fish finder that you own. Uh, this one here is a Lowrance Piranha and Hummingbird mount made by Ram. It's made specifically for these little units made by Lowrance. So you want to line up the holes. Go ahead and drop your mounting screws in. I usually do it one at a time, so that way you can line the entire unit up. made it up with the nut on the back side. Now that you've got it all pre-assembled, go ahead and tighten everything up. Once we have the fish finder head unit secured to your top, we can go ahead and reassemble it to the base. And just kind of angle it on the way to get it out of your way. What you want to do next now is you want to find the location of the boat where you're going to want your transducer wires to actually come up out of the boat. Uh, typically you can do it off to the side. I like putting it right behind the unit. That way it kind of keeps it hidden. I don't like a lot of wires out on the deck. Uh, but you generally you're going to find a flat surface again. Um, and then you're going to use a grommet to go around your power cables and your transducer wire. Uh, you, so you want to go ahead and split your grommet is the first thing you want to do. Just like so, set it off, and then take your drill, and it's always easier to use a paddle bit, and you want to size it accordingly to whatever size grommet you're going to be putting into the boat. Uh, the ACK Fish Finder install kit, we're going to actually be using a 5 8 paddle bit. So we're going to want to find the location of the boat, drill your hole, and then we're going to go ahead and install the grommet with the wires running up through. Okay, now that we have your transducer wire up through with the grommet installed, the next thing to do is to actually connect power to the unit. And you're going to need to do a little setup before that. So the first thing to do is you want to take your transducer power line and then you want to take your 9 volt battery connector. You're going to notice both have red and black wires. For the two red wires, put your 3M wire connection on the ends of both wires. And then using a set of pliers, pinch the orange button down to secure the connection. You're going to repeat this process for the black wires as well. Once that's all, con uh, all connected, take the 9 volt battery connector and snap it onto the actual battery harness and then install your 8 AA batteries. Now that you've had that completed, the last thing that you really got to worry about is getting all the excess wire that's inside the kayak from the transducer bundled up and got out of the way. Uh, I've gone ahead and done it already, just kind of show you guys, but you can see here all the excess wire has been bundled up nicely. 
and you've got two options. You can leave the wire inside the kayak if you'd like, or you can even take the, the bundle and zip tie it to a scupper wall inside the boat to keep it motionless. That's real nice, that way you don't have to worry about the line sliding around, bumping your transducer or anything else in there and fumbling everything up. Last part of the process, all we're going to have to do is plug your wire into the back of your fish finder. And fire up the unit. Once it's on, everything's good to go. You can take your battery pack, put it inside of a water type battery bag, roll it up, throw it inside the kayak, that way in case any water comes in, they don't ruin the connection or make your batteries corrode and foul up the entire fish finder unit itself. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. So hopefully this video will help you guys out in sawing fish liners on your kayaks. Uh, if you got any other questions, feel free to go to ack.com. We've got plenty of product there and people that can help you out.